Hey everyone, it's Tony with Hidden Light Photography, and today I just wanted to do a quick video on a couple of things to check if you're having issues connecting your mount to Nina or keeping it connected. So the first thing I always recommend if you're having issues with your mount dropping connection from Nina, what you want to do is go to search down at the bottom and type in USB. And you'll see USB settings pop up. If it doesn't, just continue typing it. And when it pops up, just click on it. And this right here is what you want to focus on, USB battery saver. What this does is when your screen turns off, it'll actually shut down your USB port to conserve power. And you obviously don't want that to happen because whatever's connected to your USB port, mount, camera, um, it'll actually shut it down and Nina can no longer communicate. The next thing to check, back in the search, go ahead and type in battery and you'll see battery saver overview pop up or something along those lines. If not, just continue typing until you see it. Click on that, go to system and then scroll down to power and battery, screen and sleep. And I have all of these set to never. And what these are is your screen turning off or your device going to sleep after uh, a certain amount of time, whether it be on battery power or plugged in. So I have these set to never because your screen going off or your device going to sleep can actually affect different processes such as PhD2, your camera, or your mount, and it'll actually drop connection. So I recommend setting these to never. Now, if you're having issues, um, in my case specifically, just going off of experience, and, and if this, this has happened to anyone else with a different mount or mount driver, um, please comment, let me know. Um, let's get all the information out there that we can. Um, but in my particular case, when I was using EQ mod with my EQ 6R Pro, I was having issues, uh, connecting to Nina. It would actually have a timeout error come up and I actually had to, uh, go into Skywatcher's sin scan app, connect to the mount that way first, then exit out. And then it would connect to Nina. And what I ended up finding is uh, if I go to control panel and then I go to programs and features, my prolific driver uh, didn't show up here. So I had to run a uh, Windows repair on the prolific driver. Then it finally showed up here and I was able to connect to Nina um, right away. Now, if you're having a similar issue where you cannot connect to Nina and uh, you're running a prolific driver with your mount, in, in this case, uh, EQ Mod with the EQ6R Pro, um, check this. If your prolific driver is not showing up, run a Windows repair and uh, see if it shows up here. If it doesn't, you may have to uninstall and reinstall the prolific driver. Um, but if, if this isn't showing here, then um, it's, it's going to have connection issues. If all of the settings that we just went through check good, then the next step would be to check your USB cables. They go through temperature cycles as they're being used. They're constantly unplugged and plugged back in. And USB cables is one of the most common fail points. So I recommend check all of your connections, make sure they're seated correctly. Sometimes I have to unplug and plug back in. Uh, if that still fails, replace the cable. I always have an, an extra cable or two on hand just in case, but um, I would always recommend check your cables. If your connections are good, replace the cable. If you are... Uh running into these issues still and all of this checks out you're going to need to do some more diagnostic work and what you need to do then is go into event viewer and uh, you know down to search start typing in event viewer if you don't see it pop up just continue typing and then what you're going to do is uh, windows logs 
application. And this is where if you're having a mount drop issue and um, everything is checking out, you're going to want to kind of get the time that uh, it's happening. And it's, it's very easy to do. Uh, what you do is actually go into your PhD2 log viewer and uh, trace the log from the night that you had the drop. And you'll actually see where your deck axis and RA axis just start going way out of whack. That, that's the time that your mount disconnected. And notate that time. And then you'll come into here and you'll notate the times here. Scroll down to that time and you'll come across the error here. And uh, you can see I actually just got an error here. I have no idea what that is. But um, it'll tell you information about what happened. And um, you can do some more in-depth diagnostics that way. So I hope you found this helpful. And uh, if so, please uh, like and subscribe. If you have any suggestions for new content, anything that you want to see or learn, uh, you know, send me an email. Put a comment on the video, uh, hiddenlightinquiries at gmail.com. Uh, or, you, again, you can comment on the video. Uh, if you have any questions, please ask. Uh, I love questions. I love teaching. So um, anyway, again, if you found this useful, please like and subscribe. And other than that, uh, until the next video, clear skies.